Man, this is just the gift that keeps on giving. Today, we've got a stand response to Benzino, Eminem diss response. This is from a homie DK rap artist. He actually won a rap competition that I held a few years ago for YouTube Cypher Volume 2. He's a British guy. Actually, I think he's from Finland. He's a, he's a Finnish guy. Benzino likes to finish guys. Anyway, I've seen a lot of discussion about this in particular. More specifically, how stands always diss whoever Eminem is in a beef with. And I've done it myself. I made an MGK diss track five years ago during the Rap Devil versus Killshot era. I've grown more. I've matured a little bit. I've moved on from that, but I don't view this as people trying to take up for Eminem and fight his battles for him and stuff like that. It's just a marketing tactic. At least that's what it was for me. I truly believe it's just people seeing an opportunity to show the rest of the world that they know how to rap well, and they use this topic as a means to boost their SEO on YouTube. For me, it's the same as hopping on a remix of a popular beat. I know some of y'all might feel different, but that's just my view on it. Shout out to everybody that has been booking music reviews this week, and even a couple people have donated to my fiance and I's registry for our wedding. That means the world to me, and I cannot thank you guys enough. I have extended the 60% off sale at least through the end of this weekend. I'm taking all day tomorrow to sit down and record as many of these music reviews as I can. So if you've ever had a song that you want me to listen to, you can book that down below in the description. I sit right here at my desk, I record myself listening to your song and give you as much valuable feedback as I can and then I send it back to you. There's even been a guy that booked a music review that I had never heard of before. I heard him and immediately wanted to do a song with him and now we're working on one. So there's a lot of upside to that. But I've been doing these music reviews and all of the money that I make on this is going towards paying for my wedding because I somehow found somebody that's willing to take my last name and that's an expensive process so yeah man let's dive on into this i haven't heard my dude dk rap in a little bit Bow! yeah 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 okay we got a little melodic humming when there's a ghost fire who are you gonna call ah Ghostbuster. The Ghostbusters, let's go. NBA was a white thing, and aren't you glad we made it different? Uh. Didn't have the ballers at the Jordan to uplift to shake the Ooh. culture, made a living. You saying I make prevalent your beef of them and them is the only thing that keeps you relevant. Okay, my guy is riding smooth on this beat right now. Really loving the boom bapish style with like almost like a ukulele in the background. It might be an acoustic guitar, but out the gate, addressing the whole race issue. NBA was a white thing, it was invented by a white man, James Naismith in Kansas, and Benzino's a big NBA fan, talks about the Boston Celtics all the time. So immediately diving in with something that he can resonate to. Like, aren't you glad it's different than when it was first originated? Because if it wasn't different, if it was kept a white only thing, then you wouldn't have Michael Jordan. You wouldn't have all these crazy, amazing players that uplifted and grew the sport like Michael Jordan. And this is the antithesis of the other diss track about how rock and roll was the black thing before Elvis came and made it different. And that right there was the metaphor for Eminem coming in and making hip hop different. But at this point, it's just a fact that hip hop would not be as big as it is without the influence of Eminem. So just like if basketball remained all white guys for Forever, or if hip hop remained all black people forever, neither one of them would have grown into the household names that they are. Really dope opening bar. And then him addressing Benzino saying that Eminem really isn't the culture of hip hop and he's not prevalent in the culture, but flipping it on his head by saying he's the only reason that you're even relevant. Benzino has said it himself, every interview he ever does, Eminem always gets brought up in it. My man DK is just showing Benzino a nice little mirror right there. Prevalent, it be for them and them is the only thing that keeps you relevant. How are you the culture when the culture doesn't like you? I ain't like you. I think you need the money more than I do. <laughs> the internet despise you So when I recite the rhymes You hear me spitting on the mic I write it just to spite you on the nice. mic Nice Claim to ease a vulture Really dope inner rhyme schemes right there And that's what I'm talking about man It's like a marketing tactic to show It's like hey I can do these nice raps too bro I know I'm dissing Benzino And I have nothing to do with this But this is how I rap Just to spite you on the mic You claim to ease a vulture You're a joke how are you the culture when you broke? First mm. off, Ice Fezzo did and second nothing you said. There's oh, rumors you nice. was in the hotel giving some head. You ain't seen <laughs> him in town. I know this was made before the Knox Hill disc that I reacted to yesterday. And it's still a repeat of the whole Red Roof Inn, gay, hotel room, sex, all this other stuff that everybody's talked about. But it's still funny. But I do like that flip. First off, Ice Vezzo didn't second nothing you said. And I know Benzino said that Ice Vezzo said something about how Eminem doesn't show love in the city and that he's in Detroit. And he's saying that Ice Vezzo didn't second that. It's like, I second that. Basically saying, he didn't confirm any of that shit. Just a nice little flip on that. You ain't seen him in town. You ain't seeking him out. And put the D on the map. You put the D in your mouth. <laughs> and his platinum status. He don't need you for clout. Bro, you no way, man. No way. And put the D on the map. Detroit, you put the D in your mouth. Ah, tying it back to giving some head in a hotel room. That's a dope bar right there. My man DK. Mouth. 
M is platinum status. He don't need you for clout. You need uh. your daughter for money. You need to figure it out. Mm, again, man. An opportunity. Benny, you're an opportunity. Connor, an opportunity. Royce, an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Everybody left. I'm just keeping it real. If they sound with Diddy, they would still be stuck in the deal. Oh, man. Yeah. Again, that's another good angle on that. That was one of the high points I felt like of Rap Elvis, of him talking about all these people that have left Shady Records. And my man here is just like, look, he gave them an opportunity to do well and succeed. He can't just give them absolutely everything. And then again, all the other ones that he's referring to, like Stat Quo and Cassius and some of the other names that he dropped, saying that if they were in the same situation with Diddy's label, they would have never gotten out of it. They would have never been able to leave. The Eminem is not such a dickhead that he's keeping all their shit and holding them hostage like Diddy would. And that is again addressing another point that Benzino said, like how come Eminem doesn't get the criticism that Diddy does? Well, it's because he's not a fucking dickhead label owner like P. Diddy was. Oh yeah, and then addressing the bar about how Eminem needs Coy LeRae and Benzino for clout. And he's like, bro, he's a platinum rapper. He doesn't need you for this. You need Coy LeRae for clout, not him. Would still be stuck in the deal and he don't support battle rap. Way Battle Marv 1 on the Gate Mile DVD. You mean smart, son? Mm. Gate Marv a shout out. Battle Rap a shout out. Well, let's not forget the total slaughter shit that he done. Oh, uh, yes. Pissed him. I saw my man uh, Cliff Beats talk about the total slaughter stuff. Where he tried to put Battle Rap on the main stage, the main front, and show it off to the world. And you know 8 Mile put a big buzz on the Battle Rap too. Saying that he battled Marv 1 on 8 Mile. That was one of the extra battles. People confirmed that in the comments on one of my videos. That whole movie was one big Battle Rap shout out. Again, addressing another point that Eminem doesn't show love to battle rappers. He's like, yo, you know this movie over here that's grossed over a hundred million dollars? Yeah, that's a fucking battle rap movie. Get the total slaughter shit that he done. Everybody dissed him. Imagine if he dissed bad. Every single song he made would have to be a diss track. There's mm. levels in his leagues, fam. Like Milk Bone, the last Emperor dissed him. Who the fuck are these, man? You look like a hamster <laughs> with nice beef on cheeks. too. Exactly. Like, nobody fucking knows who Milkman and Last Emperor is. I'm a massive hip-hop head. I am in this. This is my job, my living, and I don't know who they are. But that's a valid point, and it's another point that Eminem has talked about before, that if he dissed everybody that dissed him, he would be sitting there fucking writing diss tracks nonstop. And now Benzino's gonna start getting a taste of this, because I've reacted to two diss tracks from YouTubers, but I've seen, like, 15 of them. People send me stuff every single day. And if you sat there and responded to everybody, like I said, deep be fucking there forever. You look like a hamster when he's packing his cheeks. Who is your buddy <laughs> in the hotel clapping your cheeks? And uh. you're weak. So we know you had the ghost rider. Mention proof to get him hot headed like the ghost rider. Keep Ooh, saying he invades. That is a. Oh my fuck, that's a good bar. We know he had a Ghost Rider. If you mention proof of the Ghost Rider, he gets hot-headed like the Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, the Marvel character, rides the motorcycle, his skeleton, flaming heads. But also mention proof to get him hot-headed, talking about Benzino mentioning proof to get under Eminem's skin. Ghost Rider hot-headed because his head's on fire. That was a nasty double bar right there, bro. Again, why I love these, it shows people like, hey, I can fucking rap like this. Come check out my other music. I'm hot headed like the Ghost Rider. Keep saying he invades a culture just to diss us. Every single chance he get, he uses it to give love. Just listen mm. to his rock and roll Hall of Fame list. Let me one other rapper that be doing that exactly, shit. Exactly, bro. Apparently the man Eminem keeps us divided. The only reason he be getting hate is because he's white and we hate your double standards and your racism is bullshit. You've been shot before, so you can take my shots because what's a bullet, huh? Mmm, nice, man. But yeah, totally agree with that. Benzino mentioned that in both diss tracks about how he's using the culture to diss its own culture. But if you listen to Eminem's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame speech, he shouted out like 30 to 40 rappers that inspired him. Nobody else is doing that. Again, bro, he's just knocking these points down one by one, showing Benzino's like, bro, you're fucking wrong on this shit. That's a true response. Plus, you've been taking shots in the hotel too. <laughs> <laughs> Come shots! That's what he's talking about! Yeah, I'm a Ghostbuster. Ghostbuster. That's a dope name for the song too. When there's a ghost fighter. Who you gonna call? The Ghostbuster. Yeah. My man DK coming in hot. I'm happy for him, bro. I really am. Cause this thing has 46,000 views on his channel. Look, it's his fifth most popular viewed video. Right behind him winning my YouTube Cypher edition and him reacting to the Cypher that he's on. And another diss track that he did against As Is, which was another beef that Eminem was in. So yeah, bro, just fucking let him do his thing. I fuck with it. Shout out to my guy DK Rap Artist. Y'all go show him some love. And if there's any other disses out there that you want me to check out, send them my way. I am all for it. I know I'm busy as hell, but we're having fun on YouTube.
YouTube again, man. Shout out to you guys for watching this, especially if you've stuck around to the end. Again, if you got a song you want me to take a listen to and give you some feedback, you can book that down below. Or if you just feel like donating to our registry to help out with the wedding, that again is super fucking awesome of you. And I just dropped a song last night, so you can check that out right here at the end of this. Love you guys. See y'all in the next video. Lately I've been overthinking shit, but now it's time to change. I've been making raps for people that don't even know my name. I've been making songs for hoes that show me nothing but some hate. Hoping I can say some rhymes that might just change the ways. But one thing I've come to learn, hatred isn't blind. People hear the truth, but they choose to believe the lies. People see the talent, but closing both of the eyes. Seems like anywhere I try, it's uphill when I go to fight, but I got my boots laced up.